like hi hello Buffy's back and I've officially moved I have my spot on Rodeo and I will put a picture in right here so y'all yeah, like I've officially gotten my shop on Rodeo but I've had a lot of drama I mean Hollywood there have haters as well I mean first of all you guys as you see my hair is really like in its natural state okay now I did go to the beach a couple of weeks ago but it's not for that reason my sisters Chloe Kim and what's the other one's name Courtney oh. They came by my shop, you guys, and I thought they were coming to give me my props, but they didn't, you guys. Let me tell you what they did to me. They jumped out of the car with OJ, orange juice, and they threw it all over me. This is why my eye um, shadow is orange and everything, and they made my hair come back to its natural state. They don't like when my hair is long and straight. They said I, I'm supposed to look like this. But you guys, let me tell you, I didn't tell you guys last time. Let me tell you the meaning behind them throwing orange juice on me. They always did that. They put it in my bottles and everything when I, were young, when I was younger. You guys, my dad is O.J. Simpson. I don't like to tell everybody. <laughs> I don't like to tell everybody. But yeah, and they tease me all the time. They know I'm embarrassed. And so they throw orange juice on me and just give me, put orange juice in my bottle and everything. They spike my drinks with orange juice. O.J., oh my God, I am so totally embarrassed. But shh. Don't tell anybody, okay? That's why they throw orange juice all over me and my eyes still have orange on it. My lips are orange. I can't get the orange shit out of my head. But I will get them back. Oh, yes, I will get them back for sure. Yeah, so that's the story behind that. And I kept the bottle. It was actually Sunny D. One had Sunny D and one had Tropicana orange juice. But I kept the bottle because their fingerprints are all over there. And if they pass back again and throw orange juice on me, I got something for their asses. Okay? So, anyway, moving right along, you guys. I guess you're wondering what's up with this pink piece in my hair. Oh, my God. When I tell you these bitches were hating on me on Rodeo, um, here comes a pink limousine you know what i'm saying comes in front of my shop in the window rolls down the window and none other than Nicki minaj right so i go up to the car because i'm a fan well i was a fan anyway i go up to the car and i'll be like what's up Nicki? what's up and all of a sudden this bitch is talking about yeah i just shittied on him i just shittied on a bitch with the barrettes in her hair and i was like what bitch before i knew it girl i had to snatch her damn head try to snatch her up off the core girl and i got a piece of her pink hair but she pulled off but it's okay she pulled my um you know, I had my business cord up here. I was rocking. She got that. I guess she's going to go to the popo with that. But I got her hair right here. Don't pass back by my shop, Nikki. Don't pass back by there. Okay. Well, anyway, let's get down to business. I've came up a bit. You know, I don't just sell the Borats, but I still have some if you guys want some. You know, you can always go to www.buffetborats.com. Okay. Um, or you can come to Rodeo Drive. Okay. And outside I'll have balloons and Borats all over the balloons and stuff. So that's my store in Rodeo. But I've, um, I'm started carrying different kinds like this leopard kind. And I also have the Indian stresses here. For those of you who have a little Indian in you and you want to wear it oh yeah mm -hmm. my sisters they want to wear it because they have a little Indian in them in them but they don't want to give me my props but that's a whole nother different story but anyway I also sell earrings you see I have these feathered earrings different colors here and I sell um, since my hair is looking a little bit like Janelle Monet, I also sell these little bows here like her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I sell this ne necklaces like this. And also check out my shirt, you guys. I started selling these shirts because every time somebody would see me, they, they would be like, you a hot mess. You a hot damn mess. You know? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I am a hot damn mess. So I'm going to start rocking my hot damn mess shirts. So yeah, I'm representing. I am a hot mess. Buffy is a hot mess. Okay, you guys, so, so since I'm a big baller, shot curler, yeah, I've also made me a YouTube channel, right? And it's under, uh, Buffer, of course, okay? And, you know, as I'm browsing different people, you know, I'm subscribing to their channels and stuff like that. 
I ran across this girl named Miss Cutie Style, you know, and I'm like, what's up with this bitch? But anyway, you know, I got to give her her props where props are due. You know, she has three contests going on right now. I think she has one called um, The Bag Lady. I'm going to enter it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to see what bag I'm going to rock. So, yeah, so I'm representing right here. You see, I drew a purse or a pocketbook, as she would say, on my face. You know what? In honor of the Bag Lady contest, I believe she said it's going on until the 23rd, which is what, Saturday? So, you guys, you need to get your entry in because um, once I do my entry, that's it. Uh, it's done. I already know I'm the winner, okay? So, check out Miss QT Styles. Uh, bag Lady. That's another thing. This thing thinks she can sing. Let me sing this song, Bag Lady. <clears throat> this is how Buffy was singing. Bag Lady, you gon' hurt your back. Dragging all those bugs like that. I guess nobody ever told you what you must hold on to. Here's you, here's you, here's you. Don't hate, don't hate. Y'all know I was the shit singing that bag lady, you know. Take your head, see my little head, Borat? Take your heads off to me. Hats off to Buffy, because Buffy had it going on. Okay, moving right along. I also saw she had a damn Mardi Gras second line into her 400 subscribers. You know, I ain't hating, you know what I'm saying? I hope she gets 400. I don't give a damn if she gets 4,000, because when I start my page, I'm going to be on it. But anyway, check out her contest. You know, it's uh, Mardi Gras in July. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to enter this too. I'm going to make a face like this. I'm going to enter y'all because let me tell y'all, a couple of years ago, um, I went to New Orleans, y'all. I cannot go. I've been banned from Mardi Gras because you know how the tourists come down there for Mardi Gras and think they can show their boobs and stuff, y'all. But, I, you know, I had a couple of them hanging hang grenades from Bourbon Street, them daiquiris in me, girl, and my head was bad here. You know, I was kind of like a little tipsy. Girl, I here. I done raised up my shirt, showing my titties, talking about, throw me something, Mr. Girl, all I see was the cops, NOPD, come swoop me up, arrested my ass, horses, everything, came, helicopters, everything. Girl, I was down there. Girl, they took me to St. Gabriel's, girl. I was cutting up bad. So, you know, this the only, this the closest thing I can get to Mardi Gras. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to get in the contest. So I suggest y'all get in that contest, too, because y'all might win. Y'all may have a chance, because I don't know. They may not like me. Every time I do something Mardi Gras, they may not. You know, Miss Cutie Style might not like me because she didn't like me coming show my titties down there and stuff. But, you know what I'm saying? Check out that contest, you know. Uh, Y'all might have a chance to win. And that's why I put on my little purple, gold, and green eyeshadow and stuff because I'm trying to practice and stuff. But I don't know how good. You know, I think maybe y'all might do better than me. So, please get y'all interest into that. But don't show y'all titties. We don't want to see that. Oops, I'm sorry, y'all. I just, you know, it, doing the Mardi Gras one, I got into my Bussanisha voice, you know, and my Southern voice and stuff, but I'm back. Anyway, you know, guys, another contest Miss QT Saul is having is a Facebook Girls Talk contest. What the... F like, what is that? I mean, how does she come up with her stuff? No, for real. Let me stop hating. It's a good idea. But anyway, she wants you guys to come over to her fan page. Um, listen under Miss QT style and give her a like. You know, I went over there and I clicked like and then I unclicked it. I clicked it again. I unclicked it. I said, let me stop hating. You know, I clicked it. But anyway, that's our other contest. And that ends, I think, Wednesday next week. But anyway, you guys, you know, check out my channel, Buffet. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, Miss QT Styles just trips my head out. What kills me with her is, um, like her intro. Hi, this is Miss QT Style. Um, welcome back to my channel where I'm leading the way in fashion, beauty, and non candy Cody talk. Like, what the hell is that? Like, well, she's leading the way. She's leading me to the hospital because she makes me sick when she says that. Like, ew. Um, and not to mention, oh my God, you know what really kills me? It's the, it's a wrap. That really kills me. Like, what is that? Like, what the fuck is that? I mean, you know, you know, let me stop hating. I'm kind of, I'm kind of hating on that, you know, because I wish I'd have thought about that, you know. Um, I could have put a sign in my window for my Borat's when it's time to close. Instead of say close, I could have put, it's a wrap. But now I can't even use that. She always coming up with shit, you know, like, oh my God. Like, but anyway, you guys, um. Check out those three contests with uh, Miss QT Style. Also, she has another channel under Miss QT Style TV and stuff. You know what I'm saying? You know what? I don't like her really, but then I do like her. I'm actually her alter ego. You know how we don't get along, but you know, I have to give her her props. You know, Miss QT Style. What the hell ever? <laughs> Whatever, Miss QT Style. Oh, oh, hey, Miss QT Style. How you doing, girl? Yeah, girl. I was just telling them. I was just telling them your contest, your page is the business, girl.
girl. Yeah, girl. Yeah, I love you, Miss Cutie Style. Lindsay Lohan, she not my idol no more. Miss Cutie Style, girl, you my idol. You know what, y'all? I came back. Y'all, I have to confess to this. Um, the reason why me and Miss QT style don't get along. Also, you know, I got another charge when I went down there for Mardi Gras that year. You know what, you guys? She don't like me because of these. These white fucking shoes. You know, I was trying to second line and I thought I was getting it and stuff. And I slipped down and stepped on Miss QT style's toe with these damn scuffed up shoes. And she never liked me ever since. So I had 90 j days in jail. No, actually they gave me life, but I talked them down to 90 days. I was wearing these damn busted. Look at it. Look, they're still scuffed up. I stripped on beads and cups and everything. I was a hot mess. Okay, Miss Cutie Style, please forgive me. I'm not wearing these white shoes no more, Miss Cutie Style. I'm going to wear some cute shoes, all right? So y'all, please do not go down in New Orleans second lining with these white shoes on. Because y'all going um, to catch a charge for sure. Teach me how to do 